I started dropping like crazy, okay, I just guessed where the edges were and hoped for the best. I saw you inside, nah, bro, there's a little bubble. Like, can you see it? So we'll go on the black phone as well. She's a bit extra juicy now, you know. Hello everybody. It's been six months since I last uploaded my last customization phone video. And I got a lot of people being like, please do it again. Please. And I was like, girl, I, I don't know. I don't really want to change anything. Right. And then I started using my phone like a normal person. And I started taking it outside, outside the house. And I started dropping it like crazy, okay. I promise I'm not trying to break it. So then I started looking at phone cases. And I found one on Case Defy that I really liked. So then I waited a couple months. And then I finally decided I was going to get it. Because it was on sale. And I had a discount code. You know how to do. So yeah, then I finally got it. And here it is. There are cracks on this screen and the back, this phone case, if you remember from my last video, it is very much, it's not too brown yet, but it is loose because I put a bunch of cards in it. So if you shake it around, it's loose and it's got a heap ton of scratches, like many. So I have a new screen protector and a new case that I'm going to open today and put on with you guys. And I'm also going to do some customization because I am, yeah, I'm now sick of it, sick of the, what it looks like right now. So apparently six months is the golden number for me to do a part two of anything. I basically rearranged my whole room for this. Um, I put the desk here, which is not where it usually is, but this is the only way I thought I could do it. So this is the way I'm doing it. Let me grab my scissors. So we're gonna do all the unboxing, all the opening, and all the application, application, application first, and then we're gonna do setup later, because that part takes the longest. I think I'm gonna take off this screen protector first and replace her, and then I'm gonna put on the new case. And take this off. So like these ones aren't that protective, and I know, but I think I refuse to like pay for a really expensive screen protector. I can't bring myself to do it. I feel like a protective phone case is like for the whole thing in general. I'm okay with that one. But an expensive screen protector that is a piece of glass? I don't think so. So I get this one. It's like seven fifty or something. <sighs> Inflation. It's, it's fine. We're not here to discuss economics. I've already finished my assignment. So. Blah blah blah. There's nothing new inside, but if you know, if you have no idea, I'll show you what's in here. So it comes with like the glass screen protector. Wow, fabulous. Comes with a wet and a dry wipe to prep your phone. This blue thingy, which is for picking up dust and the instructions, if you need that. But I'm a pro, so I don't need those. I've done this a total of like two or three times in my life, which obviously makes me an expert. But also, I'm one of those people who hates having like cracks in the thing. Like, it just it bothers me. If I have to, if I replace it, I'm gonna try really hard not to break it again. Okay, let's put it on. Ow. Here's the phone. Let's take this. Should I turn this off? No, I need this on. Otherwise, I won't be able to see the screen like last time. And then I just guessed where the edges were and hoped for the best. So you catch me now. You can see where it's broken in half, like right there. Oh no, don't stick it back on. So here she is. Time to wet wipe and then dry wipe. Put this one first. Um, this doesn't feel very wet. Tell me why this wet wipe is literally dry. Boo. You big sucker. Okay, watch me open up the dry wipe and be like, it feels exactly the same as the wet wipe. It feels exactly the same as the wet wipe. Nah, 
my bro. There's a little bubble in there. Can you see it? <sighs> we have the screen protector on now. Woo! That was the most stressful part, Dad. Now we can open the case. You know this shirt? It's giving me like the Powerpuff Girls. You know the heart? But it's like... That's what this is giving me. Just saying. Okay, so now we're on to the more exciting part. I have the case right here. It's from Case Defy. It came in like a week or two. Don't know which one it was. To be honest, I was a bit busy and I lost track of time. I had ordered it like right before exams. And I was like, this, when it comes, and I'm done with exams, and I open it, it'll be like a reward. These are my sewing scissors, because I don't know where my other scissors are, and I couldn't be bothered to go get them. Wow, 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 look at this premium packaging. It has the same print on the outside and the inside. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down so you can have a look at this because I feel like it's gonna be a little bit cool. And you're gonna wanna see up close. You wanna stare at my face while I open it. Look at that. I can't see it. Here she is. Miss Case Goodbye. Okay, where, how do I? Clearly never done this before. Why did I decide to go across instead of doing this like a normal person? Hello, this box is made from plants, not plastic. Recycle me after opening. Okay, will do. But also taking instructions from a box is a bit quirky. I'm kidding, I'll recycle, I promise. Ma'am? Sir? What was the point of this if nothing happens when you do that? Can I just rip it? I might just rip it at this point. It says, thank you for choosing us. We hope you love our products as much as we love making them. A case to fire around the mission to minimize our environmental impact without sacrificing self-expression and creativity. So that's that. Aw, wet wipes. That will actually be wet. Wow, that's so sweet. How did they know? How did they know that came out would let me down? That's not great because my table is white. <laughs> I got the clear one with the black border because my phone is black. So I was like, you can't tell. But like, if you get a clear border, sometimes it goes all yellow. It's a thing that happens. Okay, let's put it on. Wait, actually, no, let's peel this off first. Wow, well, case defy authentic. Thanks. Look at that, that's actually so sick. Oh my god. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. What the heck? It's so cute. It's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Sorry. Let me uh, use a broader vocabulary, a more verbose form of expression. This is adorable. See? It's a different one. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Like you can see all the. You can see it. No way, you can see it. Look at that pattern, it looks so good on the black phone as well. Like on the edges, they're like little bumper thingy. Why can't I speak today? They're little like bumper things, so that if you drop your phone, it doesn't... It doesn't break, it ricochets. <laughs> yeah, and on the front, it has... Mm -hmm, yeah, the raised border, so if I drop it like this, she's chill. Because it's also got the... Yeah, it's got a rim around the, like, the camera, which is something I was really scared about, because every time I dropped my phone, I was always so worried about the camera just going, because it would fall, and then I would not be able to catch her, and then it would be a sad time. But now I have this case, and she'll protect I'm really glad I went for the black border, because um now it's not going to get yellow. My phone is a tad bit bigger than it used to be now because obviously the borders they give them edges and extra width she's a bit extra juicy now you know but that's never a bad thing it looks really good this is honestly the case that i wanted when i first got this phone but obviously i had to get it online and also it was really expensive so but basically i ordered this on june the first
if you're wondering how long it's gonna take. And I got it on June 9th. So that's, that's pretty good, that's like a week. When I've used it a little bit more, I can tell you whether it's good or not. Because at this point, I haven't dropped her, I don't know. Okay, this comes with a six month warranty, and you best believe I'll be using that if I ruin this. I got the Ultra Impact iPhone 11 Black Dragons phone case. It was originally 85 bucks, but then they were having sales, so it was $75. And then I used a promo code and I got $11.25 off. So it, all in all, it came up to $63.75 Australian dollars. So if you're anywhere else in the world, it'll most likely be cheaper because, you know, conversion, right? I'll be honest with you, I have no idea whether this design is going to scratch off or not because it is on the outside. Fingers crossed it doesn't, but you know, you never know. Uh, I do like that there was hardly any packaging, so now I don't feel like super wasteful. But yeah, because this is all recyclable, I don't feel bad about throwing it out whatsoever. Like, I just go put this in the recycling bin and then all is good, all is well. The last thing to do is customize, and to be honest, the customization I want to do is really- It's funny because it's like the complete opposite vibe of what my phone looks like on the outside. The lock screen is- gonna stay the same because, I don't know, I just think it matches the vibe. As expected, I've been doing this for a while. It's like 6.35 and I started doing this at like, I wanna say 5, 4, 30, 5. I think 5. It's been an hour and a half. I wanna show you guys what I've done. Can I help you? For dinner? Um, yeah, but I need to finish filming. Thanks, bye. So basically this is my home screen. I have changed it, you can see I've changed the background. I've changed basically everything, it's completely different now. And I saw lots of these kinds of layouts on Pinterest and I was like, hmm, I kind of dig that. And so I was like, I'm doing that. So general is just like a bunch of like general apps, you know, things that need to click on or whatever it might be. So I just have like some random ones in here. And then I have Locket right next to it. This is like this thing where you can like share photos with your friends and they're like on your home screen and stuff if you add them as like a widget. So you can like send each other photos every day. It's very cute. And then the photo, I just have some photo apps. What's, what's new? <laughs> oh, but some of these are offloaded, but I haven't deleted them because I still kind of want to use them a little bit later on in the track I just don't know when I will have the space for it again so for the sake of that I have offloaded them so I have you know like camera Fuji prequel Fuji is really cute it's for like fake film photos if you don't have a film camera and then I have photos CapCut and Visco remember when Visco was a big thing then if you move to the right that's obviously the calendar calendar apps pretty self-explanatory it's just so I can see like what day it is because sometimes I feel like I'll forget what date it is. Um, and also I have a widget smith up the top here. That is like a picture that I took the other day and I just liked it. It's going there. And then I have like this thing here on the bottom, like this Pinterest area. Basically what this is, it's, it's like a widget that you can add and it essentially, it just shows and like it shovels through one of your boards that you choose. It's like this, edit widget, and then you choose what board it is that you want to shuffle through. You can make like a, a specific board that you want for this and, and then you can change it from hourly to daily, whatever you want. Then I have social. It might be an overwhelming amount of numbers in that social, just don't look at it. There's a lot of apps in there. Some of those which are offloaded because I literally just, I don't want and I don't have space for it. And, you know, we have organization. 
I've had it always with Flora. It's the way two out of three of these apps are offloaded. So you can tell that I actually have a big storage issue. Yeah, okay, I'm working on it, okay. Then I have Pinterest down the bottom and Notion. Then if you scroll across, I have a Widget Smith. It's just like a cute little phone photo. I have another widget. It's basically just like the sunrise and the sunset times. You get that daily and it tells you. It's kind of helpful because sometimes if you want to go out, it's good to know what time the sun's rising, what time the sun's setting, so you know when to be home or if you want to watch the sunset or sunrise. And then I have Google which has an overwhelming amount of numbers as well. Um, that's because I have a lot of mail. <laughs> so I have Docs, Drive, Files, Sheets and Gmail on there. And then next to I have School. It's just a bunch of school apps, so you know. Things like the weather, because I need to check the weather. The student Edge, Student Edge gives you deals. If you don't have it already, you should go get it. They're not always good, I'll be honest with you. Like, if you compare the deals that you get there to anything else on the market, it's essentially the same. Sometimes a little bit better because you don't have to go look for them, they just pop up. Then I have music, which I haven't put in the nice font for, but <laughs> so it looks kind of dodgy. It's music, it's just Shazam and Spotify. I like using Shazam and I think it's very cool that it exists. Sometimes I'll just be silently like Shazamming something and be like, nobody talk. Then I have guitar, because you know, play the guitar. I don't know what kind of elaboration that was. So I have UG, which is what I use for finding guitar tabs. And then I have obviously a tuner, but as you can see, that's also been offloaded and that'll tell you how long it's been since I played the guitar. Then we have the travel stuff, which also has the ugly font. Um, it's Tribune and Opal. Tribune is just so that I can check what time my bus, my train, my blah, blah, blah is coming. And then Opal so I can top up my Opal card. And then we have games. All of these are offloaded, I'm pretty sure. I don't think a single one of these aren't, but in the odd chance that I have extra storage and I want to play these games, I'm glad that they're there for me. <laughs> so I have Hello Kitty Cafe. That is so fun. That was my childhood. I used to love that game so much. And like, it's so hard to get those extra characters. Like, it's so expensive. But I used to love doing that. And I worked my butt off just so I could get those like little token things and I could buy the extra characters. I low-key recommend it, okay? Um, my PUBG, I, I haven't played in a while. The last thing I remember was the zombie update, so... I don't know how long ago that was, like ages. Then I also have Heyday, which I also haven't touched in a really long time. That thing is also strangely addictive, I don't know why. Animal Crossing, Pocket Edition. And then I have Among Us and a ball. And then the next page over, I have a widget. Again, it's just like a photo. I have this Notion widget, which is like, it'll take me into this page. Um, with my calendar on it that I used to plan every single thing on it. So it's very useful to have that as like a little widget. I wanna say this page is my more like um, productive adult type page. Then I have this like little picture, it's a little widget. Um, at the bowling alley, it's very fun. Um, and then I have this is follow with a bunch of like extra, it, I call it extra because I don't know what to call it. It's like just random things, but I also kind of need to use them. So the, like my Vodafone, YouTube Studio, Translate, Voice Memos, Find My iPhone, Google Maps and Service News of Wales. And then I have this, it's basically for my VPN and my step counter. Cause at one point I was doing this like challenge thing, like as part of this, it's like this fundraiser thing, but I need to count my steps. So I needed to get a step app because I didn't trust Apple. Um, and then shopping, nice, they're offloaded. Shopping, I have Amazon, eBay and Yes style, you know, the basics. <laughs> And then in my money folder, I have Beam Wallet and Westpac. And then next page over is all of my timetable. I don't really know that you need to see this because it's my timetable. Um, I probably have to blur that because there are teachers' names on that. Um, and then the last page is just, it's where the locket thing goes because I don't know where to put it. <laughs> so that was basically it, that's all. Um, and then, oh yeah, at the bottom is just phone, Safari messages and Instagram. That has not changed at all. So I hope that you guys enjoy watching this video. I hope this satisfies your um, demands for a part two of my previous video. It's, I'm gonna say it's more minimal. I feel like it is more minimal because my home screen was also getting super duper cluttered because I started downloading a bunch of apps. So like I let all of it go and it was nice today to be able to just like fix all of that in one go and so now everything is nice and fresh and it feels good, it feels great. Thank you for watching, I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you haven't seen the last one of this and you're looking for it, I'll leave it in the cards somewhere. Thanks for watching, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in another video. Bye! Because I like it.
everything about you. I like everything about you. Yes, I do.